Your field crews will need an excellent understanding of the Catapult Pro mobile interface. On your mobile device, open Google Chrome, then sign in at catapultpro.com mobile. Immediately, you'll notice that the interface is oriented around a dropper that sits in the center of the screen. Open the menu in the upper left-hand corner. Here, you can hard refresh the page, open the job chooser, change your toolset, and access settings. Select your first job of the day using the job chooser. Touch the dropper to open your tools, then select the navigation tool. Pan the map so that the dropper selects the polar span you'd like to navigate to. Then press Select Destination to open Google Maps. Once you arrive at your destination and have your cameras ready, press the dropper again. Select the Field Details tool to pull up a screen with the job, time, and user. You'll need to take a very clear photo of this screen on both cameras. If you need to switch cameras in the middle of a job, make sure you pull the screen up again and take another sync shot. Make sure the sync shots are taken of the phone that you'll be using in the field to interact with your design. If you need to switch phones for any reason in the middle of the job, make sure that you take sync shots of the new phone with both cameras. Once you are finished taking sync shots, you can start collecting data for your job. Touch the dropper to open your tools again. Choose the checklist icon to start collecting, then pan the map to your first span. After taking your mid-span height photo, Press Done Midpoint. If you need to take an additional clearance photo over a driveway or road, pan the map to the correct location, then take your photo. Once you've taken your photo, add an additional section by pressing the Done button. When you're finished taking mid-span photos, you can move on to the next poll. After you and your crewmate are done taking photos of the poll, mark the poll Done. If you missed any photos and need to take additional ones, you can revisit the poll later. When you return, take your photos, then press Took More Photos. Continue taking photos and marking the design done until your job is complete. To edit or delete an item, select the Edit tool and then choose the node, section, or span that you would like to edit. From here, you can edit the information or delete the item. To move an item, select the Move tool, then select the item you'd like to move. Pan the map, then touch Confirm to finish the move. To add an aerial line, select the Aerial tool. You can draw a new line by pressing Draw New, or continue from an existing pole. Pan the map, and then press Select Next Point to continue drawing your aerial line. To add additional spans for loading or make ready, select the Other tool. Select your starting node, then pan the map to the next point and press Select Next Point. Select the node type, then the connection type, then press OK. You can design down guys by using the Anchor tool. Select your starting node, then enter the lead length and feet in the upper left. Press the Inline or Bisecting button to lock the anchor in the right location, then press Select Next Point. Choose the rod size, then the number of eyes. Select your strand sizes, number of auxiliary eyes, and the anchor elevation. Then press OK. To leave a note, select the Note tool. Place a note on the map, and then type your message. Hover the dropper over a note to read it later. To place a pole into your existing aerial line, Select the Insert Pole tool. Select the span you'd like to add the pole to, then press Insert Pole. To connect two of your existing nodes, use the Join tool. Select the first node, then select which node you'd like to join it. After selecting the connection type, press OK. In the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about the data you'll be collecting in the field.